Now I know what you're thinking. Mebby, why on God's green earth are you dressed like that? Thankfully for you, I have many answers to that one question. And also, yes, I did get a haircut. Thank you so much for noticing. I appreciate it. Target. We all know it. We all love it. Emma Chamberlain straight up convinced us that it was the funnest place to be in the oversaturated and millennial pink time of 2018. Target is the ideal place to be for anyone in this stage and age. That's what we've always been taught. I mean, do you guys remember the Target dog? I slightly do. I don't know when it left, but it did. Imagine you're me, Mebby, walking through the hallways of school when you run into your friend May. And she's like, hey, let's film over spring break. You've been wanting to do this. This sounds great. You're like, awesome. Okay. And we're like, how about let's go to Target? Amazing idea. Better idea, though. What if we pretend we're sixth graders going to Target? And that's where this video came from. And what you're seeing is the byproduct of the mess of that idea. I really have no words for this video. Just en enjoy, enjoy Target. Did you notice you can't? Like, but then like, but like. <laughs> <laughs> May, were you a sheltered kid? Yeah. Did you always see those 12 year olds living their coming of age movies at a random Target? Yes. Do you want to do that now? Yes. <laughs> what do you want to do? What, what do we, what do, what do sixth graders do in a Target? Number one. Frappuccinos. Frappuccinos. N number two. Hide and seek. Number three. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> laugh in weird places. Like, let's go down the vitamin aisle and laugh. <laughs> no, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. There was one thing though, I'm literally sitting on them. Where'd they go? There they are. There's one thing all sixth graders have though. We must don ourselves. <laughs> and they're gonna do a voice over here. Okay, go, put it on. As I was putting on my choker, I realized that we had completely and utterly sealed our destiny. What destiny do you mean? Target. But not as ourselves, as our past selves as the selves that we never wanted to go back to. We left middle school. We were in high school. But now, we're going back. That was a really good improvised monologue. Thanks. I really can't do that well. And here we were, our journey. We're going back in time. Do we really want to? That's the question that we need to answer tonight here on National Geographic. Shoot. Do you smell that? What? Right. Okay, let's go. I brought the vans from eighth grade that are like dirty as your mom. I got the I got the joggers tucked in. Nice. And uh, so far, the video for this is corrupted. But we went to get our Starbucks from Target. I'm sorry, I had to cheat on my Dunkin'. But when we realized we actually had to get frappuccinos because obviously middle school, um, we were saddened and embarrassed to order that honestly because frappuccinos are gross. Well, I actually have something I have to pick up. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. Wow, we're convenient. Okay, yeah. And then to spice things up, May decided to lose her wallet. <laughs> Ew, okay, we're not... We're not poor, May. <laughs> Oh my God. May pointed out some ring lights in the background, but I couldn't film it because right next to it was a man having an experience while rapping, and I could not interrupt that. Do you not know what's happening right now? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I think I, I the man was having a religious experience in front of us. No, I'm glad he found God. <laughs> he was getting into it. No, I don't need any. Okay, cut the camera. Sometimes you just hear it, and it just makes you want to go. Why did you do that? Because I like to live the fun and spontaneous <laughs> life, do you not? See, look at his little eyes. <laughs> uh, okay, it's wow. It's I got it. <laughs> 
Did you lose your wallet again? We really are playing hide and seek, huh? He is still going at it. Then we did something that both 6th graders and 11th graders alike do. A fit check. You go first. Um, thrifted H&M. Nike, Nike. Um, your turn. <laughs> On my way. Old Navy. Uh, I don't know, they're from 8th grade. The um, bands. Kohl's from two years ago. Oh, do you need help? No, it's fine. Let's go. So we walked around Target some more, and we thankfully did not lose May's wallet again, but we realized we literally had nothing to do here, so we came what we actually wanted to do. Or what actually May wanted to do. Laugh in the vitamin aisle. <laughs> Come on. Don't be scared. I'm scared. <laughs> the, the vitamin aisle. Goodbye stress. More like, more like, hello, hello. Stress. Okay, which one would you like? Laser focus, daily so energy, or so swift expensive. energy? I used to get the woman ones. Oh no, wait, I got sleep ones. Really? You have a sleep addiction though. Let's get these. Did you know how to swallow pills in the sixth grade? Yeah. I, was, I didn't. I, I was swallowing heck of ibuprofen before it was even cool. I don't think that's something to brag about. You can get these kids vitamins. I'm not buying anything. No, we can get these. Why? They're thirty. They're twenty five dollars. They're prenatals. You need them. What are, I'm kidding. What does prenatal mean? <sighs> what does this, is, mean? this is when you insert a clip of you looking up the definition of prenatal. Fair enough. Baby, these are these are vitamins you take when you're pregnant. I wasn't calling you pregnant. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Not Joke executed. Failed. Joke failed. Joke failed because I'm dumb. There were like two girls walking by us that looked like us. Like unironically though. <laughs> this is ironic. This is ironic, right? Actually, she dresses like this, so. Yeah, no, that's the worst part. That's just, the, that's just, that's the shame that comes with. I don't taking dress on like this. this. That's, that's the shame that comes with taking on this role. Okay, this is when everybody gets May's credit card number. <laughs> like a, like a boom, huh, do a boomerang. So we weren't gonna get anything else, but May thought it'd be really funny if she tried to pay with her watch. So we got that thing of gum, and guess what? It, <laughs> it, di it didn't work. She bought gum for no reason. Let's go. Remember your wallet this time. Got it. <laughs> Let's go. We really lived out our dreams. You know, and I think especially because this is sixth grade, it took a lot of courage. <laughs> it was an inner battle between the best and the worst of ourselves. But we did it. And it doesn't matter how. It doesn't matter how many times May lost her wallet. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Girl. Keep that in. Okay. <laughs> I finished it. I'm like ungrateful. What did you just say? I'm gonna bleep it out so nobody knows I said that. Guess what? My social security number is. Are you still working on your frappy? My frappy is none of your business. <laughs> Get it off. Did you break it? <laughs> Are you gonna cry? Yeah. And although I was really sad in the moment about my choker, I realized it had deeper symbolism. In my AP line class, we always hear that there's something deeper to the text at hand. And here was a perfect example. I was breaking away from my sixth grade shell, the person that I once was. And now, <laughs> I lost it! 
I mean, we might as well burn these. Should we? No. I feel like that would release fumes into the... Yeah, I don't want to be all global warming. No bueno, no bueno. Global warming is You know, not I cool. wish... Huh. Get it? Global warming is not cool. That's so funny. Like, That's what? so funny. Actually, it's not funny about joking about the state of our planet. Not the polar That's bears. not funny at all. <laughs> Can you see that? It's doing a little bit of this action. No, it just looked something else. Like, do, hit a little cha-cha-cha. Like, pretend like you're flossing and go cha-cha-cha. But with both hands. Here. Hit a little floss, but with cha-cha. Do it. No, like you're flossing. Like, your teeth. Like <laughs> that? What you doing over there? <laughs> you're not driving properly. <laughs> I know, I almost hit the, um, I almost hit the median. So after our risky car ride home, we decided to watch Barbie movies like any other normal teenage girl would do. Honestly, if you don't watch Barbie movies with your friends on a Saturday night, you're doing something wrong. But alas, May had to leave, so she shuffled her way across my sidewalk and said goodbye. Okay, bye. That was so cute. That was cute. Bye. Bye. Subscribe. <laughs> yes. Okay, I know that video was like a little all over the place and stuff, but like the idea was there and then it it happened. I just want to say I'm sorry for the lack of upload last week. That was my iPad having a breakdown and then it caused me to have a breakdown. But anyways, moving past that, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Things might start to get a little hectic just due to life and second semester and high school, but... That's okay. Nobody cares about that. I really appreciate the space to do this. This is fun and I appreciate it. Yeah. So listen to May, like, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Mwah. Lots of love.